Factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the factors that affect the strength of the magnetic field of an electromagnet. Describe the applications of electromagnets. An electromagnet lifting machine is being operated in a scrap metal yard. The electromagnet lifting machine is used to separate scrap ions from other metals. How is it possible for the same machine to lift scrap ions of different weights? What would happen if a permanent magnet is used instead? A solenoid of 20 turns is connected in an electrical circuit. Click on the switch to switch on the circuit. Slide the rheostat to vary the current flow in the circuit. What do you observe when there is a current flow through the solenoid? When there is a current flow through the solenoid, the solenoid and the core become an electromagnet. The magnetic field exists and some pins are attracted by the electromagnet. What happens to the number of pins attracted by the electromagnet when the current flow through the solenoid increases? The number of paper clips attracted by the electromagnet increases when the current flow through the solenoid increases. What is the relationship between the strength of the electromagnet and the current flow through it? The strength of an electromagnet increases when the current flow through it increases. Are there any other factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet? A solenoid is connected in an electrical circuit. Click on the Select button to select the number of turns of the solenoid. Click on the switch to switch on the circuit. When the current that flows through the solenoid is kept constant, what happens to the strength of the electromagnet when the number of turns of the solenoid increases? When the number of turns of the solenoid increases, the number of pins attracted by the electromagnet increases. This shows that the strength of the electromagnet increases with the number of turns of the solenoid. We have been using iron as the core material of the solenoid. Do you think the material of the core will affect the strength of an electromagnet? A solenoid is connected in a circuit. We have been using iron rod as the core of the electromagnet. Do you think it would make any difference if other material is used to make the core? Let's find out. Click on the Select button to select the core material used. Click on the switch to switch on the circuit. Observe the number of pins attracted to the core. What is your conclusion? From the observation, we can conclude that the electromagnet is more powerful when soft iron core is used. The soft iron core helps to concentrate the magnetic field lines that pass through it, and hence producing a stronger electromagnet. Is the shape of the core affecting the strength of an electromagnet?
A solenoid of twenty turns is wound on a straight soft iron core. Another similar solenoid is wound on a U-shaped soft iron core. When the same current flows in the solenoid, which one produces a stronger magnetic field? When the same current flows in the solenoids, it is observed that the U-shaped electromagnet attracts more pins. The U-shaped electromagnet has two opposite poles adjacent to each other. The magnetic field lines are concentrated in the space between the two poles, resulting in a stronger magnetic field. A circuit that consists of an electric bell is as shown. What will happen when the switch is switched on? Click on the switch to find out. There is a current flow through the electromagnet. The soft iron armature is attracted by the electromagnet and the hammer hits a gong. What happens to the current flow when the hammer hits a gong? When the hammer hits the gong, the circuit will be opened and current will stop flowing. The magnetic field lines disappear and the armature returns back to the original position. The circuit will be completed and the process is repeated. A circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from being damaged by current overload or short circuit. Unlike a fuse which operates once and has to be replaced, a circuit breaker can be reset, either manually or automatically, to resume normal operation. Circuit breakers are of various sizes, from small devices that protect an individual household appliance up to large switch gear designed to protect high voltage circuits providing an entire city. A circuit with a circuit breaker has been set up. Click on the switch to switch on the circuit. Click on the rheostat slider to vary the current flow in the circuit. What happens when the current flow is too high? When the live wire carries the usual normal operating current, the force produced by the electromagnet is not strong enough to separate the contacts. However, when the current gets too high, the electromagnet is powerful enough to pull the soft iron armature and separate the contacts so that the current is cut off. Meanwhile, spring B keeps the contacts apart. When the reset button is pressed, spring A pulls the soft iron armature back to its original position and the contacts are closed again. An electromagnetic relay is connected in the circuit. Click on the switch in the input circuit. What can you observe?
When the switch in the input circuit is closed, a small current flows through the solenoid. The iron core becomes an electromagnet and the iron armature is pulled towards it. The other end of the armature pushes and closes the contact. The output circuit is closed and a large current flows through the motor. Click the switch to switch off the current in the electromagnet. What happens to the motor? When there is no current flow through the electromagnet, the iron core loses its magnetism. The soft iron armature returns to its original position and the output circuit is open. The motor will stop running. Why should the motor be connected to the input circuit when it can be switched on directly? A magnetic relay acts as a switch using a small current to turn on a bigger current in a more powerful circuit. It functions as a safety guard. The electromagnetic relay is used in a variety of applications, including alarms and sensors, signal switching, and the detection and control of faults on electrical distribution lines, car engines, telephone exchange, and so on. Is it? For what? Mm, is that all you need from me? What about my cat? Have you found a telephone earpiece consists of a permanent magnet, an electromagnet, a soft iron core, and a magnetic alloy diaphragm. What happens in the telephone earpiece when the man is talking over the telephone? The magnetism permanent magnet constantly pulls the magnetic alloy diaphragm, which is fixed in front of the soft iron core. When a person speaks through a telephone mouthpiece, the sound is converted to a varying magnitude of direct current. When the varying current flows in the electromagnet of the earpiece, the strength of the magnetic pull on the diaphragm varies accordingly. The diaphragm thus vibrates according to the frequency of the original sound. An electromagnet lifting machine is used to unload steel slabs from a cargo ship onto a truck. Use the slider to choose the size of current used. Click on the object to be unloaded from the ship. Click on the start button to lift up the object and load it onto the truck.